Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and it is officially Tarot Card re Weekend. Mercury's in retrograde, but I am here and I made it. I'm thankful. I hope you're thankful. Libra, you are the first sign. For those who don't know the way I pick what order the signs go in, I have all the names in a bag with a crystal, and then I pull the names out, and then that's how I choose, so it doesn't seem like I'm biased towards any sign or anything like that. Libra, last time you had a fallout with someone. I don't know if I'm going to pick up the same energy of that particular tribe of Libras or if it's going to be a totally different tribe of Libras. But that's what had happened last time. Um, I don't read reversals. I read energy and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let me get into this, and I do a preliminary shuffle for my main deck and my clarifying deck before I start recording, just to get an idea. And then, of course, I start the main thing as I'm recording. During the pre-shuffle on the main deck, I got the judgment card. It was upside down, but again, I don't read reversals. So the judgment card, second chances, um... You could be passing judgment on someone. Judgment could be passed on you. And then I shuffled again. And at the bottom of the deck, it was the Ace of Wands, which is passionate new start. It could be a new start in love as well, but also it could be a new start in career um, too. When it comes to the Ace of Wands, a new project where you just want to start. And believe it or not, it can also be walking away because a new start something has to end too. So if it's connected to what had happened before during last month's reading, which obviously this is for the February energy, then you more than likely will be moving away from that. And in addition to that, for the clarifying deck, when I did the shuffle, I got the page of swords first, which deals with a message. So a message may come in where you're dealing with the new star or you're waiting on a message. Also, one thing that came across me during the energy was that someone might be waiting on something legal, hence judgment. And with there being, with the Ace of Wands being in the main, and then after I shuffled again in the clarifying, the card of temperance came out, which is moderation and balance, which is similar to the justice card in a way, because it's about balancing things out in moderation. If there's anything related to legal, even though Mercury is in retrograde this month, I don't pick up anything going bad or anything going sideways. It seems it's it, it long story short, it seems like it'll work out, is what I'm saying. Also, know that. This is just a tarot card reading. Nothing is guaranteed when it comes to these things. I'm just telling you the energy that I pick up when I do this stuff. Now, let me get to the main deck. I'm going to pull eight cards out of the main deck. I'm using the Starman Tarot. If anybody's familiar with the singer David Bowie, the Starman Tarot is based off of artwork as related to him which they're amazing cards. So, and I'm just going to say it once. I'm not going to repeat it throughout. Tell me what the energy for Libra will be for February 2021. Okay, first card out. The Tower. Yeah, I feel like there's still some debris going on with that situation is what it is. And for those, for another group, it could be the thing where I was talking about the legal stuff to for a totally separate group. It could be some legal stuff. Don't worry about towers are not as bad as people think they are because towers are things that fall when they weren't built on a solid foundation, which it could have been whatever that situation was in January. If for the Libras watching this, if you have a chance, go to my reading, my January reading. You'll see what I'm talking about. But that came out. This may be related to that, too, where it's all finally happening. And then because once the tower falls, something new begins. 
again, the Ace of Wands, which the Aces are new starts. And the Ace of Wands is saying that there's going to be, there will be a new start. The energy is available for a new start for that. So let me go ahead and take another card. And what do we have? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. This tower is happening because your the Queen of Swords is one of my favorite cards out of the deck. The Queen of Swords is a very shrewd woman. She, she has no problem keeping what serves her and no problem removing what doesn't serve her. She's also very good at communication. Also, the Queen of Swords is um, related to the air sign. So Libra, your sign, Aquarius, and Gemini. So some type of communication will be happening too. It will possibly be your communication, you communicating, saying how you feel about a situation, that you're you're removing something from your life. You're not dealing with it anymore. The reason I say that you're more than likely removing something from your life is because the tower card came here. And because of something that is being said by someone, possibly you, that is what's going to cause the tower to happen in whatever relationship it is. If you want to go back to the legal side of things, it could be communication in the sense of there could be an attorney involved, which is a female attorney. Again, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, that is helping you with this tower moment that has just happened. You Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But the Queen of Swords, she's very shrewd and she has no problem, none whatsoever, removing things that don't serve her and saying what is on her mind and being very clear about what she wants and what she doesn't want. So this is a very, it's, it's like I said, one of my favorite cards in the deck and it's a good card to have. So let me see what another card is for the situation with Libra. That's going to be the energy of February 2021. This one, Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights. Yeah, Nine of Swords is being in your head, Sleepless Nights. Whatever is going on or whatever is happening, try not to let it get to you. I I don't know what it is, and this is more Swords energy, more Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Try not to let whatever is going to be going on get to you. If it's a situation, if it's a legal situation, this is one of those let go and let God type situations. Let that be the case because the towers um, already happened and everything is in motion now. If it is a relationship that you have just made it clear that it's just not going to work anymore, that could also be the tower as well. But don't get hung up on staying in that energy. Look forward instead of looking behind you. Don't let the thoughts of, oh, well, did I make the right decision? Was I too blunt? Did I say the wrong thing? Maybe I was a little bit hot headed at the time and I, I should have thought before I spoke. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And also in addition to that, with Mercury being in retrograde, Mercury is going to be in retrograde for most of February, I think until February the 21st, give or take. You can look it up. Where communication gets mixed up, where you might say one thing and somebody hears something totally different, or you send communication and they never receive it, or it's delayed, or vice versa. They say something to you, you may not, you may understand it or interpret it totally different from what they meant, or they may send you communication, you may not receive it, or you may receive it late. So these are other things that can play a role in this. Regardless of what's going on, don't let it get in your head and don't let it keep you up at night. What else is going on for the, okay, let's see what we got here. Six of Pentacles. So this is good energy. This is the energy of giving is what I, um, the Six of Pentacles is. Being able to give more, being able to give back. Also, it can be the energy of receiving more where you're put in a position 
where you can receive more based off of what you've given in the past. What I believe is with this, with all the cards that have come out so far, I believe that you have removed yourself from a relationship and you're going into a more of a different mindset where you will not deal with people unless they're able to give as much as you would give. You have given so much of yourself in the past with where the scales have not been fully balanced, where it hasn't been the it hasn't been equal give and take. You've always given more of yourself than people have given of themselves. You're, you're always been the giver. But now, due to whatever this relationship is, that you're leaving, that you decided and made clear that you're going to leave behind, even though you're still unsure if you made the right decision, you're going to move. You're going to be able to move into an energy that will allow you to partner up with people who are on the same wavelength as you, people who give as much as you do, is what I'm seeing here, is the energy that will be available. I'm going to pull four more cards, is what I'm going to pull. So what else is the energy of Libra for February 2021? That one just doesn't want to go in, so I'm going to take it. And something's telling me to take this card, too. So I'm taking two cards. Yeah, so what do we have here? Two of Pentacles. This is usually a choice in juggling, is what that is. So I'm going back to the Nine of Swords, of you not sure if you did the right thing, of removing when you went in that queen of swords energy to remove which created the tower to remove whatever it was out of your life and you're still holding on to a piece of it you're juggling with the piece of it for that the good news is is that the ace of swords came out so the energy will be there for more clarity the ace of swords is new clarity new ideas new direction new beginnings but mostly new communication is what it will be. So you're going to, you're still going to be holding on to the past a little bit, but that Ace of Swords, that energy is there to give you clarity, to give you the ability to let the past go, is what's going to happen. So I need two more cards for Libra. Okay, something's telling me to take this card. What card is this? Four of Swords. That usually means rest, recuperation, relaxing. But the energy I'm getting off of this is, is the opposite. I'm getting, and this happened, I forgot what sign it happened for. Um, but there was a sign that happened for where it came out and I was picking up the opposite energy. Usually the four of swords means rest. Once you're able to detach from whatever this negative energy is, you're going to, uh, a, a burden is going to be lifted off your shoulders. You're not going to feel weighed down anymore. You're not going to feel like you have to rest anymore. You're going to have a renewal of energy. Once you're fully out and again, this Ace of Swords is going to bring in some type of communication and some type of new clarity where you were in the process of still juggling in your mind whether you did the right thing or not. But when that, that new clarity comes in, that new communication, it's like, oh, yeah, I definitely did the right thing, Ace of Swords. And once that's done, the Four of Swords, but consider it a reversal with this, the energy that I'm picking up. Once that Ace of Swords comes in and gives you the clarity that you need, it's, it's going to be, you're going to feel refreshed. You're going to feel renewed is what's going to happen. But again, this is more air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is what that will be. And I like to have one more card 
for the sign of Libra as well. I'd like to have one more card for the sign of Libra. Tell me to take this one. Okay. Five of Swords. This is conflict energy. Don't let someone drag you back into their conflict. Don't let someone drag you back into their drama. When you leave someone behind or a situation behind, sometimes that situation can come back. Five of Swords is conflict. And it, actually, to be more specific, Five of Swords is conflict with a cost. So when you leave something behind, Sometimes, whether it's an ex, whether it's a friend, whether it's a job, whether it's a family member, whether it's whatever, they want to drag you back into their energy when you're trying to move on to a higher frequency. Don't fall for it. This energy is going to be around more than likely towards the end of February, since this card came out towards the end of the reading. And don't let yourself get drugged back into that. As a matter of fact, because... My spirit's talking to me now. With that page of swords, page of swords means messages. It also means social media and spying. So don't let someone get in your ear via social media, whether somebody's like on Facebook, like, hey, um, you know, such and such, da, 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 whatever, or somebody slides in your DMs or something on Instagram or, or whatever. It, leave that stuff behind. That's what... That's what the Queen of Swords is about. The Queen of Swords removes what doesn't serve her. And if a tower has to happen during that process, when the Queen of Swords removes what doesn't serve her, so be it. But once everything is removed and you're looking for a higher frequency, you're looking to connect with people who give as much as you give versus the lower frequency people you have dealt with in the past who did not give as much as you give. Don't let that old frequency try and pull you back in at the end of February is what I'm saying, because you were already teetering on. Well, did I make the right decision because you were juggling two of Pentacles and the nine of swords with some sleepless nights. But the thing is, is that you want people to give as much as you give. You want people to be as forthcoming as you are. Don't let the old drag you back into conflict and take away because swords deal with communication. Swords also deal with the mind. Two, don't let anyone take away your peace of mind with this five of swords. So at the end of February, when people try to drag you back in by putting something in your ear and saying this and saying that, if that should so happen, just Shrug it off, ignore it, move on to your new beginning. Because again, in the preliminary, you had an Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new beginning. You, you have the chance, the energy for a new start is there. You've already set the wheels in motion is what you've done. For some of those, like I said, if you're dealing with legal stuff, once you've left stuff behind, again, I feel if it's anything legal or any type of paperwork or whatever, I feel it's going to balance out in the end. Don't be overwhelmed with it. Don't feel like, oh my God, how is this going to work out? Yet, yet? No, it's, it's going to balance out. But as for right now, as the cards have fallen out, this seems more of some type of relationship. What kind of relationship? I don't know. But this seems like some type of relationship, possibly the relationship that was connected to what I did the reading on back in January. But you, you're, the energy is there for you to make the decision to move on and also don't get drugged down in the conflict because that's a them problem. That's not a you problem is what I'm saying. Let me go ahead and take one of my C Melodies cards right quick. And I'm just going to pull this one because that's what I want to pull. Communicate. Wow, that's it. I guess because we're in the month of Aquarius. Communicate. Things left unsaid will never reach the, the shore. 
That's what it says. Things left unsaid will never reach the shore. So make sure you communicate during the month of February. And with the Queen of Swords energy being available, I have a feeling you're not going to have any issue when it comes to communication. I have a feeling you'll be just fine. And then I'm going to pull an Oracle card too. Let's see what the Oracle card says. All right, contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. I'll read that again. Contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and what and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. And I'll read it a third time. Contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly, you remember, I'm right here resting in God. Libra, it's going to be okay. You're good. You are good. So whatever that situation was, don't let them don't let them pull you back into conflict. That's all I have. Thank you to those who have been supporting Keeping It Real with KC. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. That way other people can see this reading. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That will let you know when I upload new videos. Um, KIRWKC, main podcasting platform on Spotify, Apple, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Anchor, yada, yada, yada. And KIRWKC on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook.com, KIRWKC. Swing by the page, give a like. Thank you again for your support. Until next time, be blessed.